For today's video, we're going to take a look at the latest road map, which basically gives us a preview as to what we can expect to see over the next few weeks. During the week of July 9th, which is next week, we're going to be getting patch 5.0, and with this patch, we're going to be getting the Challenge the Horde game mode, as well as Flintlock weapons and Wild West heroes. And I tried to look up the Wild West heroes, but they haven't been added to Storm Shield 1's database yet. But as soon as we get some more information in regards to them, I'll be sure to let you all know. As for the flintlock weapons, there's a total of 9. And I have gone over these before, but I'm just going to quickly run through them again for those who didn't see the previous video. This first one's called 21 Gun Salute, and this is a burst assault weapon. And it's a surprisingly accurate multi-barreled rifle that fires powerful burst. Its high damage and large magazine help compensate for a slow fire rate and heavy kick. We also have the bowler, which is an explosive weapon, and this fires long range cannonballs that damage and knock back groups of enemies in a line. Does not consume ammo but has very low durability. There's also the duelist, which is a slow firing revolver that fires powerful rounds that deal heavy damage and knock back targets. Accurate out to mid range. We also have Gassund Height, which is a shotgun, and this deals heavy damage and knockback to multiple enemies in a very wide cone. Has extremely limited range, tiny ammo capacity, high recoil, and a long reload time. There's a sniper rifle called Archibus, and this is an accurate, high-powered rifle that kicks like a mule. Solid damage and an above average magazine size make her a prime choice for those who can handle her temper. And there's another bolt action sniper called Old Betsy. And this one has the same description as the Archibus, except it also says that it's scoped for additional down sights accuracy. And as you can see, this one has a scope on it. And that's all of the ranged flintlock weapons. There were also three melee flintlock weapons. This first one's called Cad Walloper, and this is a hammer that delivers a hefty punch at a slow swing rate. It has a heavy attack that jumps to the targeted foe and damages and knocks down nearby enemies. Now, I assume you're going to want to use this one with constructors. There's also a club called Sir Hootie, and this is a heavy club with a slow swing speed and large knockback potential. And the third melee weapon is a scythe, and this is a slow weapon that deals high damage and moderate impact. And it has a two strike heavy attack with increased damage and knockback. And those are all of the flintlock weapons. Let me know in the comments which one of those you would like to see gameplay of first. And I'll leave a link to a couple of videos in the description where I go over some tips in regards to Horde Bash. But that sums up everything you can expect to see next week. Anyways, as for the following week, we're going to get a patch 5.0 content update. And during that week, which is the week of July the 16th, we're going to get a new assault rifle in the weekly store. And I haven't seen any new assault rifles added to Storm Shield 1's database, but as soon as I do, I'll be sure to let you all know. And as for the following week, which is during the week of July the 23rd, we're going to get patch 5.1. And with this patch, we're going to get the first act of the Candy Valley story. And I'm kind of hoping we get the new biome with that first act as well. But that sums up everything that was in the roadmap. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to go check it out. I hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.